there's a huge age difference between me and my actors. Yeah. Much lesser than what it would be between me and Rajkumar Rao when we did it in 2010. After Oilaki uh, came out, they came to me thinking that I would be working with a big star. They went back half scared or whatever and then they told Nikta and Nikta said, this is it. Just call him, let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. That's how it happens. See, I'm all for representation, but I'm all for survival also. Let's make a dancer. So Mudassal looked at him and said, Sat time lagega. <laughs> so we are sticking to genitalia. Yeah. Okay. And that's it. Genitalia that are universal. universal. That does not belong to any gender yeah. or family member. Yeah. I'll do anything for money. So, I mean, as long as I get to do what I want. Hi, this is Sheetal. You are watching Pink Villa. Such an exciting day today as I'm in conversation with the one and only Dibakar Banerjee. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Pink Villa. Thank you for having me. Anytime. I just want to start off by asking you that uh, 14 years, right, from LSD 1 to 2, what has changed for you as a filmmaker? I've aged. <laughs> but apart from that? <laughs> Nothing much actually. After that, everything is a consequence of your aging. Mm. So, I mean, there's a huge age difference between me and my actors. Yeah. Much lesser than what it would be between me and Rajkumar Rao when we did it in 2010. So, uh, I don't know. I mean, that definitely increases the personal distance. Mm -hmm. But also, you know, with age, you realize that you don't need personal closeness yeah. to get a good performance out. You just need to sort of work with the person and see what happens. So that's what has changed. Uh, outside of that, everything else has changed. I mean, there's nothing I've forgotten LSD. I don't remember it very well. Yeah. But what made you want to bring back the world of LSD? I didn't. Ekta wanted to. Okay, you didn't it was Ekta's idea. No, no. Okay. I mean, it, it didn't start with me. Okay. It started with Ekta. Okay. Ekta called me up and said, we have to make LSD too. 2019-20. And that's when I said, okay, figure is sounding interesting. Let's see. I mean, there's a decade that we've, uh, you know, spent. Spent, yeah. Life has happened. Yeah. So now we can do truly new stuff. Yeah. Otherwise, there's no point repeating. Yeah. Um, you know, in 2015, I couldn't have made an LSD too. Yeah. So we started thinking of the stories, then, you know, my next uh, Netflix original happened, then the uh, COVID happened, then I came back and uh, started. Wow. And talk to me about the co casting process because uh, uh, you've taken so many newcomers, right? Was that a little challenging for you? The thing is that LSD1 mm -hmm. had a premise yeah. that you could not have cast known faces into the film right. because it was giving us found footage. Yeah. Same here. You cannot have recognizable face because we are showing a reality show that's a real reality show in fact the only uh, faces that you see where you which you know are the themselves judges, yeah, yeah, you know? Correct, yeah then there's another story where there's a you know youtuber a gamer yeah who's you know living the life out through his vlogs and you know whatever and uh, how would you have somebody known uh, uh, portray that uh, uh, you know convincingly i mean it has to be all new yeah, together yeah, yeah. secondly Newcomers come cheap. Thirdly, for next to nothing. Thirdly, for a film like LSD2 to work in theatres, we have to be very, very controlled. We have to be absolutely, you know, uh, tight on our resources right. and very free in our ideas. Ideas, yeah. yeah. And about the casting, uh, you must have auditioned many, many people. I'm told right? we auditioned 6,000 people. I've also read that this was, and heard this. That was a data byte that was given to me by marketing and they said 6,000, 6,000, 6,000. It's plausible because there's so many characters in the film. And how do you narrow it down to the final ones that you've chosen right now? By watching one video after the other, dear. There's no other way. And also a lot of workshops. So workshops happen after they are cast completely or it's in the process itself? What happens is that if you go through those videos, 80% and this is for you know, budding actors, any director who goes through, uh, you know, let's say 10, mm -hmm. uh, you know, screen tests, he will say no to about seven of them in the first five seconds. If he or she has a concrete image yeah. of the character and then it's up to their performance. So suppose you see an actor who doesn't match your visual image of the character, but that character manages to hook you by performing the hell out of the scene. Then the director forgets and forget the looks. This is the guy. So those are the ways that you choose. You know, when you say this, uh, I also know for the fact that there are three stories in LSD too, right? One is about a gamer, one is about a person who's trying to find their sex sexuality and the other one is a transgender woman, right? 
along with the complexities of the modern world. So from I want to understand from you as a filmmaker, what is the kind of research that went into, you know, formulating each of these characters? Because as you mentioned, there's a lot of age gap, right? So how do you put yourself in their shoe and think that, okay, I'm going to react in this way for this situation? See, Pratik and Shubham uh, did a lot of research. The first part of the research was their lives. And the second part of research was that Pratik is an Pratik is a person who is a news addict. Okay. Newspapers and other things. So he collects news and he had told me that, you know, that gives him a picture of the world along with his lived experience. Okay. So they came up with the story of this uh, janitor, transgender mm -hmm. janitor mm -hmm. working in a huge uh, corporate yeah. uh, company. And uh, then... Uh, the gamer story also yeah. they came up with the the the, the youtuber and uh, i think the reality show was somewhere there in my mind throughout okay. and we were figuring out how what where and all that and that's how it happened mm -hmm. so were you hesitant any time to take up uh, lsd because it's so different from what you've made right no. You are always up for it. No, it, I wasn't hesitant at all. It was at the first, the LSD one happened in the way that after Oilaki uh, came out, they came to me thinking that I would be working with a big star. Okay. But, you know, knowing, kind of knowing, I didn't know her too well then. I, I narrated them the, uh, you know, the LSD story. So, I think they went back half scared or whatever and then they told Nikta and, and Nikta said, this is it. Just call him. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. That's how it happened. Yeah. And while you say this, what's the kind of relationship you have with Ekta? She's backing up your projects like this. She, uh, <laughs> our relationship is, um, I like it. I like our relationship. I, li I really like it. So it's good. It's good. When both of us are intense. Right. Both of us are extremely headstrong. And both of us are mules. Yeah. So it's it's a it's good. But do you have a any time you have a creative conflict with her? All Just, the time. All the time. What do you do then? We resolve it. Okay. In in what ways I'm asking? Sometimes I give in, sometimes she gives in. Mm. It's a, it's a good combination. Or we convince each other. Yeah. 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 You know, uh, it's also... Happens all the time. Yeah. Happens all the time. You mentioned that uh, you have a transgender person playing the role of her mm -hmm. in, in the movie, right? So, how important is representation of trans in a movie that you've made? Because often we see that even if it's a trans role, it is played by a woman or a man, right? So, in that terms, when I ask you, how important is representation? Because critics also mention that why can't we cast a trans for that kind of a role? See, I'm all for representation, but I'm all for survival also. Right. So, I will sort of, you know, raise my flag and say, yeah, 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 you know, uh, all the transgender, queer generation has to be represented and all that. And then when it comes the time to make my own film, mm -hmm. and if I have two transgender characters, and if commercials actually sit with me and have a meeting about that, look, if you have two transgender actors, acting those two transgender yes, roles yeah. out, then it will become slightly niche. Okay? Yeah. And uh, it will become slightly lopsided mm -hmm. because the third cast of the film is a boy, boy yeah. a male boy, uh, who in fact has been questioned about his sexual orientation. That's the story, story with, yes. the, with the boy. Yeah. So, uh, and then uh, at the last moment, I definitely couldn't have taken a woman. That would have been a bit too much. So I kept looking for men okay. who would want to do this, understanding that they don't have to look like a woman. They have to feel like feel a like woman that. first. Mm. So we started looking for people who could understand that. And then when Paritesh Paritosh came on board, he started hanging out with Bonita a lot. Yeah. And as he told you that, you know, both of them sort of kind of sat together and we got it. Uh, frankly, I was, I, I was shit scared. Okay. Uh, and I, my, 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 uh, my fears were proven true when we realized that, yes, we have cast a Paritosh. Mm -hmm. He can act yeah. and he is Noor, but he can't dance to save his life. And this was supposed to be a reality dance, dance show. show yeah. And that's when we shit breaks, then we call Mudassar and then he says, Sir, 15 days, make him a dancer. Bana do. So Mudassar looked at him and said, Sir, time will <laughs> <laughs> So, 
उसके बाद वट एवर वी डिड हाउ वी डिड सो गॉड दैट वॉज क्रेजी इट्स बीन टास्क किया हाउ डू यू डिसाइड वेदर यू वॉन्ट टू मेक इट एन ओ टी टी रिलीज और अ थिएटर रिलीज ऑफकोर्स इट सी आई डोंट गेट टू डिसाइड एकता गेट्स टू डिसाइड बिकॉज बी टी एल इज एक्सपर्टिंग and it was always ikta's decision that that this film should come out theatrical so you can see she is emotionally connected yeah, to the film yes. she is emotionally connected yeah. and were there any limitations from the censor board for lsd2 uh there were limitations but they were surprisingly very few limitations we had asked for an adult certificate mm-hmm. so all that we had to do was to mute out the uh mother sister ah, father galis yeah. galis and uh, i i did ask them they said that you know you know keep the mother in this uh, don't uh, sh- uh, depict mother and sister gali says it can i please take the father then <laughs> so they laughed and they sort of you know conferred a bit and they very sweetly told me that i think you should leave the family out okay. <laughs> so so we are sticking to genitalia yeah. okay and that's it genitalia that are universal, universal. that does not belong to any gender yeah. or family member yeah. okay so and of course we told them that it's an adult film so right. that you know eased up things and then the climax of the gaming mm-hmm. uh, uh, story uh, involves uh, our protagonist going about stalkers okay for a long climb okay <laughs> so that we have to blur out because you can't show so, frontal nudity yeah. or other kinds of various other kinds of nudity in india yeah. by law yeah. by law yeah you know uh, i want to ask you sir that when when there's an ott release right there's no limitations like the the way censor board tells you ki ye mat karo wo mat karo right at least now you see that ott mein thoda sa limitations hai but you're free to show and say anything that you want so would it have been better for you to you know maybe make it an ott release just because of all these so the thing is when i made this for netflix it felt like i could do anything as mm-hmm. long as i was in the budget okay. and as long as i was sticking to the script and keeping netflix informed okay it gave me complete creative freedom right okay that's one part mm. of it the other part of it is that uh, i don't know but that was 2022 2 yeah. 2021 i don't know how free otts are you'll have to ask the ott platforms yeah. and you'll have to expect that they'll tell you the truth yeah. to do what they want to do the and whether it's really more liberating to do it but definitely stories with depth yeah stories uh, uh that are not immediate grat- gratification theatrical uh, experience that people go for ott is a fantastic platform and it's given us so much yeah you know, it is given actors us so like jaydeep uh, yes, you know allowed, all these yeah. guys so that's definitely there but the ott in the ott platforms there is another way that the creative can be maneuvered into one certain slightly monotonous kind right. of a delivery system and that happens because of when you know state repression okay. and corporate um no no corporate interests okay. kind of merge Most together yeah. and have to survive together yeah. then uh basically the 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 way the filter that you go through is that oh, we can't show this we can't show this we can't show this and it's a very effective and a very surprising uh, uh, uh you know uh, era of self censorship that we are going through yeah. it's it's quite uh, educative to watch yeah you spoke about these right uh, which wasn't commissioned at in a on a streaming mm-hmm. platform I want to understand from you that in this world of fame how do you convert a rejection into an encouragement therapy <laughs> <laughs> that's all <laughs> straight up answer therapy yeah <laughs> but nahi nahi money therapy yeah and that's why i'm sure even commercial success in terms of a movie releasing theater is must be very very important right because therapeutic therapy uske baad kya hoga pata nahi lekin abhi tak to therapeutic hai after having so many critically acclaimed films also do you still find it you know difficult to find finances for your movie because uh, back in the days you, filmmakers were divided into two one is either a commercial filmmaker or a art film they used to art film maker do you identify into any of these divisions i don't think i identify i don't think even the producers who are looking for directors do not ident- i mean do not identify with, with with art or commercial i'm somewhere in between yeah that's for sure that's for sure, that's for yeah. sure. yeah yeah it's not impossible for me to find uh, makers for my films it is difficult because i only do what i do that's the problem so that slims down the choice a lot 
then the budget whether there's a plus i i i prefer not working with stars stars yeah that's one thing so it slims down makes mm-hmm. so you have to do one for them one for me stuff like that mm-hmm. i mean it doesn't really pan out like that all the time but yeah. that's the but that's the idea that you have idea. right yeah, yeah. Uh, I think uh, I'm going to ask you a question, but then you'll be like, "We're going back to uh, <laughs> my favorite movies again." <laughs> but is there going to be a Oi Lucky Lucky Oi Part Two or a Khosla Khosla Part Two anytime? Or are you open for sequels and maybe a prequel as well? So are you? You have done LSD too, so I'm sure. I do anything for money. So I mean, as long as I get to do what I want, I do. I do whatever. Open for everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but sir, how do you look at the cinema? <clears throat> in this day and age and the cinema stars because we see a you know a back to back action that's going on right as a genre right now yeah. so how do you see cinema in this day and age and the cinema stars pretty much like any other time but i'm sure it's evolved over the years right it like evolves anybody. in technology yeah. and stories but where it's a constant thing that cinema commercial cinema hmm. follows trends yeah whatever the trend is so today's cinema is and also star based expensive cinema which is insecure about sort of you know getting its budget out yeah. and therefore has to appeal to the maximum, maximum. number of people mm. and find corporate backing government backing are making films of a certain trend so trends work trends work yeah. yeah and just lastly i want to ask you if you had to tell our audience why they should be watching lsd2 in the theaters what would you tell them maybe three reasons i mean uh for the first reason why you should why you should watch lsd2 on 19th of april is because you know i'm telling you to <laughs> the second thing is that why you should watch lsd2 on cinemas next to you in theaters on 19th april is to make me rich and the third reason is that to watch lsd2 on 19th april in a theater next to you is that uh it's lsd2 <laughs> Perfect. How apt is that? But thank you thank so you. much. All the very best, and uh, can't wait to watch it in the theaters. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, you're watching me, Debaker, talking about LSD two on Pink Filler.